Welcome to BizWire. I'm Joseph Nordstrom in Beijing. China's state-controlled People's Daily yesterday published a call for a review of Japan's sovereignty over the island of Okinawa, home to major U.S. military bases, with the Asian powers already embroiled in a bitter territorial dispute that has greatly affected bilateral trade. The article in the Communist Party mouthpiece argued China may have rights to the Ryokyu chain, which includes Okinawa. The researchers argued in a commentary that agreements between allied forces during the Second World War mean the ownership of the Ryokyu Islands may be up for debate. Asked if China considered Okinawa part of Japan, Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Hua Chunying deflected the question, saying scholars had long studied the history of the Ryokyus and Okinawa after researchers from the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences said that it may be time to revisit the unresolved historical issue of the Ryokyu Islands. The People's Daily then published the research, and while Chinese media should not be taken as an indication of official policy, it does often reflect the current thinking within the higher ranks of the Communist Party or may simply be looking to stoke nationalist flames in its readership. Okinawa is home to major U.S. Air Force and Marine bases as well as 1.3 million people, nearly all of whom speak Japanese. Okinawa is the biggest of the Ryokyu Islands, which stretch for about 1,000 kilometers from Japan's mainland and were the center of the independent Ryokyuan kingdom that paid tribute to Chinese emperors as a vassal state until it was annexed by Japan in 1879. Now, some Chinese see the historical ties as a basis for sovereignty and dismiss Japan's possession of the islands as a legacy of its aggressive expansionism that ended in defeat at the end of the war. Now, Beijing has not made such claims, but state media occasionally questions Japan's authority, which is always good for a ratings boost in China. Japan and China have been locked in a period of elevated tension since last year over sovereignty of uninhabited islands that are called Senkaku in Japanese and Diaoyu in Chinese. The lengthy People's Daily op-ed focused mostly on the issue of the Diaoyu Senkaku Islands and stopped short of calling Okinawa a part of China. Li Guaqiang, one of the authors of the commentary, said Wednesday that his intention was to point out the facts, telling the Japanese government that if there are questions about the Ryokyus, then they can't even begin to talk about the Diaoyus. Bloomberg quoted Willie Lam, an expert on Chinese politics at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, who said that as this was carried by the People's Daily, signals that Beijing may be upping the ante regarding the East China Sea dispute. Now, Lam added that this is a classic Chinese negotiation tactic of trying to intimidate the opponent by raising the stakes to put pressure on Japan so that the Japanese administration will be forced to make concessions over the Senkaku Islands. The Japanese government's decision last year to purchase those islands from a private owner sparked protests across China and harmed a $340 billion annual trade relationship that has yet to recover. According to Chinese customs figures, China's imports from Japan plunged 14 percent in the month following the September protests over the East China Sea Islands. Lost in the middle of all this are the indigenous people of Okinawa, many of whom are neither happy to belong to Japan or to have such a significant presence of the United States military on their islands. Perhaps we should take the time to ask the locals their opinion before continuing on with business as usual. Well, this is BizWire on the Blue Ocean Network. Stay tuned for more in Economic Insight.